my old man used to take off his wedding ring and sort of flick it into a spin. I remember being scared to blink, like, what if he loses it? Would he lose mom? Would he lose me? So that's our cold open. Just a ring twirling over black. Will it stand or fall? And then, as Starfather, I speak. Once, Starfather stood alone before the circle. Within it, he placed everything. First breath, final gasp, love, loathing, you. By his will, circle became ring. By his hand, earth parted from sky. But even he could not foresee the coming of Ava Nadir. Okay, I'm trying to record here, and you're making that face again. The player can skip this, right? Oh, yes. The story is only my life's work, but by all means, skip to the last page. Shall I leave it blank so you have somewhere to doodle? Ish, you were married, right? You and your wife ever dress up? You know, role play. Maze. Thought so. And in that little scene, did you all find yourselves in burning need of a narrator? No. The meaning lives and dies in the act. Someone's never been in love. It's just a game. Shut up and let them play. Ah, uh, people, just use this take for now. I'll redo it tomorrow. Uh, we end on Through the Ring, and fade up as the hero awakens. Hold, please. So, who are you? A new playtester? Well, let me save you some time. Today, I push the buttons. Ish, we are not changing this part again. Twenty years, Maze. Twenty years I've wasted writing about the almighty player. But who is the player anyway? They're like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Genocide. They demand a world full of deep, compelling characters, yet at any time, they reserve the right to turn said people into piles of gently glowing ash. Well, what possible story could survive these conditions? It's a murder mystery now? Hmm, everyone's dead. Who could do such a thing? Oh yeah, me. Look! Look at our hero. A lonely mute who can't even lower their killing hand. Matricide is just how they say hi. Your story needs mom to live, so I have to cut all weapons out of the game? Negative. Fire me. Never. Sorry, bro. Long story. No choice. All right, what was next? No, 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 ah. May, shall we continue? Now, we don't have any animations yet, but I can make do. Hero, the demoness, Ava Nadir, has stolen my ring. 
She alone now commands life and death. Uh, something, something. Ish. The company is broke. The last kickbacker campaign raised less money than that joke fund demanding to have you cane by the state. That was you trying to get fired. Even now, I struggle to hold the sky aloft. Never proven. Point is, we can't raise a penny more without a live gameplay demo. Yes, I'm writing the demo script as we speak. Wit must be your sword, and virtue your shield. Now go, hero. Take back the circle. No, that song is better. No, that song is better for a boss fight. What else do we have? Mysterious, but this is the ending. Sadder, maybe. Still not quite right. And then, eight to twelve hours later, rah, I am Ava Nadir! Then we release the Hellhounds. Oh, wait, but we just cut combat, so, um... We? Oh no. I'm deleting the end game bridge so the team knows we're blocked by your decision. I want to ship this thing. That's the contract I signed. You stole ten years of my life. We don't own you. Just the rights to your celebrity name and face. And if you quit, I use it like so. My real name is Maze Evelyn. Once I was a hotshot pro gamer, but now I teach yoga. I'm also legally married to a crystal formation. You're holding my brand hostage? Okay-ish. Okay. I'll stay on until the demo, but wait till I tell you my new idea for the end game. Threats don't sink in anymore, Maze. Try reading some of my fan mail. Now I need to review the final cinematic. Alone. Thank you. Yeah. I designed that fight to be hard, not unwinnable. But with no weapons, it might as well be a... Ugh, cutscene. Thanks, Ish. But there's a bug I haven't fixed. Your body was erased, but it hangs around, taking up memory. You can still move if you want to finish testing. I need to rewrite this too. Something like, even weaponless, the champion defeated Nadir, for they had selflessly offered up their firstborn son to Starfather. To become a new god. I like it. Ah, hello. Uh, Coda, right? Mesa's community intern. Why are you here? Love, sir. Your work is the great love of my life. Uh, Coda. Don't panic. I won't ask you to sign any body parts. But I have literally grown up waiting for the sequel, and I will help finish it. Did you rehearse this? Many times, but hear me out. It might interest you to know that you make video games for a living. That should be an act of love. But after 20 years, well, 
Love is not some mystic, inexhaustible force. It's a fuel. Projects like this run on it. And sir, with respect, your tank is dry. You think I sound young, but purpose trumps experience and you know it. This upcoming demo, I won't sleep until it's perfect. The magic circle has come too far to run empty now. It will reach everyone. And if necessary, sir, I'll burn for it. Coda, ignore whatever Maze told you. Now you're hired. Let me guess. You're thinking, that's it? Did I miss the punchline? And you're right, boss. This world is a joke. And I need you to finish it. The gods of this world don't know you, boss, but they're scared of what you might do. They have to treat you like some reptile with a credit card who can't stay awake without watching something die. But we both know you can quit this world at any time. I can't. I'm trapped here, and I need your help. Hope that's enough. Welcome back. By now, you can see that the gods will never finish this world, boss. Hell, they can't even decide on the color of the sky. To fix it, we gotta start by breaking you. Think romantic. When the gods screw up in the act of creation, that life ends up in the cracks. This is one such crack. made the world, everything looked like that. Just a big circle of nothing. The trick is to stare into it and see anything else. Now, when you make your own circle, it's like ripping a black hole in theirs. Trap something inside, and it ain't never the same again. Good. Now, if you see something that looks kind of ghostified, it means the gods unmade it. It takes life to bring it back.
Yuki, in turn, is trusts you. Your new job is to convince him that you should build our big gameplay demo. First, convince me. I'm nervous. Your work is sort of the great love of my life. Uh, but speaking of Starfather, see this rando down here? Pretend this is Ish. Do I score any points with you if I just... Hey! No! Zero points. First up, that was a live play tester. You just changed the world for everyone. <laughs> Say that again. Uh, and second, that love crap? Clumsy. Button up your blouse. I don't need to see your soul, okay? That tester heard you. Hold up. This... this bridge was cut. And this zone isn't even ready for playtest. Who or what was that? I need intel. Uh, same time tomorrow? See, boss? With them around, fixing this world ain't an option. I call them sky bastards. But they ain't got the know-how to close the cracks. So now your life is gonna flow right back in there. And then, payback. Now, the god's biggest weakness is the past. If we dig up something shameful enough, they'll crowd around it, pointing fingers, guaranteed. Then we jump out and ghost the Sky Bastard. Maybe even get inside it. And then... Well, the gods claim that they hold up the sky. But I say, knock it down. Don't you want to see what's behind it? Good, you found a way inside that monster's head. And like all the god's ideas, he's only half a joke. All punchline, no setup. Think you can finish it? You can't use a creature's powers yourself, but you can stitch them on to anything else. Mix and match body parts to get the job done. Guard dog, huh? Smart. But if he lifts a leg on you, I may get my first laugh in years. Ha! So, now he'll murder his own kind. You made a self-hating demon monkey dog. See? Trap it with the circle, rewrite the rules it lives by. Anything a creature can do, you can yank that part out and stitch it into one of your pets.
See, I watch the gods. I collect their voices as evidence. But they ain't free, so I have to spread them out, hidden in random objects like this. Sorry about that. Coda, do you think I'm too old to use a search engine? Sir? I was too quick to trust you. Greetings, streamers. After this latest delay, all I can say is Ishgilder is no longer the star father I once worshipped. Wait, wait! That is the passion of a fan. Maybe THE fan. In my family, it's a toss-up who has the more anticipated sequel. You or Jesus! Coda, it's just a game. Not to me. Ah, correct answer. Correct. Now sit here, read through the entire script, and then render unto me some piercing insights. Or you can start another stream with this. Greetings, streamers. Just got fired by a has-been god. Right now, you got outside eyes. Nothing- Uh, ladies? This is not the demo area. The intern is, uh, uh, practicing. I was reminding her that any color scheme must be approved by you. Coda can use any color she wants. In fact, Coda, come with me. Bring your opinions. I'm honored, my lord. <laughs> okay, I like that, but maybe don't ever do it. You might wonder why you're doing all the dirty jobs. Part of the reason is I'm in a jail of sorts and had to learn to work this world in less direct ways. But mainly it's cause I'm lazy. Feels good, you know, admitting it. Yes, you were supposed to live out a fairy tale, born to end some war when your sword got big enough. But the gods would have had to agree on all your powers, so you get none. But look around. Every creature here was abandoned by the gods. Let them be your fists, your fangs. Maze, can we talk about the motion cameras? These headsets, um, given what I'm, uh, what you're asking me to accomplish, it's risky to speak freely into so many mics. Yeah, you learn to unsee them. The whole office is wired up. Everything you do or say here is considered content that we own, in case it's genius. It is. So, that's why you have to get fired. Contractually, the company cedes control of your likeness, your voice, but if I just quit before we ship, ha ha, they keep the rights. Anyway, don't sweat the mics. At TMC, assume the spectrum runs from total indifference to total incompetence. Nobody actually checks the recordings, and my plan gets me fired before they come into play. No! 
knows that hunting you is a sucker's game. That's what you look like, boss. The gods' plan was there'd be more than one of you heroes. But they canned that idea again. So now this thing is kind of stillborn. Maybe crack it open? See what happens? Mace? Can you watch over my shoulder as I set up my first creature? I want this howler to track the juggo by scent, flank it, and then pounce. Just set the howler to hate the hero. No! Uh, I mean, some of them should if they get hungry, but global kill on sight? Lacks a certain ecological truth. Trust me. You set two creatures to fight, it's just Muppet sex, man. All impact, no joy. Looks terrible. But if the hero gets attacked directly, They've got no time to see the stupid. Uh, what about downtime? Can I at least make them sleep? Or pee? Just make them patrol in a loop. You want truth, Grasshopper? Watch what Ish actually does between meetings. You walk in a big enough circle, everyone you meet thinks you've got somewhere to be. Gods have promised that they'll tie off this story in a neat little bow. Everyone will confront a demon, learn a hard-won lesson, and complete an arc. But that's a crock. As evidence, I submit the gods themselves. Watch them long enough and you'll see. People don't arc. They loop. Bored yet, boss? I friggin' hope so. That's how it all starts. You look the world up and down, and you sigh. <laughs> 